Want to speak real Czech from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at CzechClass101.com. Adult Dospělí Dospělí Airplane Letadlo Letadlo Arm Paže Paže Become Stát se Stát se Begin Začít Začít Best Nejlepší Nejlepší Big Velký Velký Bitter Horký Horký Boring Nudná Nudná Apple Jablko Jablko Apricots Merunika Merunika April Duben Duben Close Zavřít Zavřít Come Přijít Přijít Cook Vařit Vařit Correct Opravit Opravit Bedroom Ložnice Ložnice Bench Lavička Lavička Blanket Přikrývka Přikrývka Car Auto Auto Cell phone Mobilní telefon Mobilní telefon Dream Snít Snít Drink Pít Pít Eat Jíst Jíst Dissatisfied Nespokojený Nespokojený Early Brzy Brzy Easy Snadný Snadný Beard Plnovous Plnovous Beautiful Krásný Krásný Bed Postel Postel A table for five Stůl pro pět Stůl pro pět Absolutely. Rozhodně. Rozhodně. All right. Dobré. Dobré. Are you all right? Are you on Facebook? Jsi na Facebooku? Sina Facebooku. Awesome. Skvěle. Skvěle. 
Bye. Bye bye. Naschle. Naschle. Can I borrow this? Can I have a bag, please? Mohu prosím dostat tašku? Mohu prosím dostat tašku? Can I have a receipt, please? Mohu prosím dostat účet? Mohu prosím dostat účet? Can I sit here? Can I try it on? Mohu si to vyzkoušet. Mohu si to vyzkoušet. Can you download this file? Můžeš si stáhnout tento soubor? Můžeš si stáhnout tento soubor? Check. 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 Congratulations. Gratuluji. Gratuluji. Could I have your attention, please? Můžete mi prosím věnovat pozornost? Můžete mi prosím věnovat pozornost? Delicious. Vynikající. Vynikající. Do you need anything? Potřebujete něco? Potřebujete něco? Do you speak English? Mluvíte anglicky? Mluvíte anglicky? Do you understand? Rozumíš? Rozumíš? Does this bus go to? Don't do it. Nedělejte to. Nedělejte to. Don't mention it. Ani to nezmiňujte. Ani to nezmiňujte. Don't worry. Neobávejte se. Neobávejte se. Everything is great. Všechno je skvělé. Všechno je skvělé. Excuse me, do you know where the is? Excuse me. S dovolením. S dovolením. Go straight ahead. Jděte rovně. Jděte rovně. Good afternoon. Dobré odpoledne. Dobré odpoledne. Want to speak real Czech from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at checkclass101.com. Accountant. Účetní. Účetní. Adjective. Přídavné jméno. Přídavné jméno. Afternoon. Odpoledne. Odpoledne. Air conditioner. Klimatizace. Klimatizace. Airplane. Letadlo. Letadlo. Airport. 
Letiště. Letiště. Alkohol. 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 Ankle. Kotník. Kotník. Appetizer. Předkrm. Předkrm. Apple. Jablko. Jablko. Apricots. Merunika. Merunika. April. Duben. Duben. Arm. Paže. Paže. Arrive. Přijít. Přijít. Attic. Půda. Půda. August. Srpen. Srpen. Atom. Podzim. Podzim. Back door. Zadní dveře. Zadní dveře. Backbone. Páteř. Páteř. Banana. Banán. Banán. Bandage. Obvaz. Obvaz. Barley. Kroupy. Kroupy. Basement. Sklep. Sklep. Bathe. Koupat se. Koupat se. Bathroom. Koupelna. Koupelna. Be late. Přijít pozdě. Přijít pozdě. Beard. Plnovous. Plnovous. Beautiful. Krásný. Krásný. Bed. Postel. Postel. Bedroom. Ložnice. Ložnice. Want to transform your driving time into language learning time? How much time do you spend in your car every day? 30 minutes? More than an hour? Why not put this huge amount of time to good use? Instead of just listening to the radio during your daily commute, you could be learning a new language instead. Here are three easy methods for learning a language in your car. You can put them to use right away with the help of our language learning program. First, you can listen to fun audio lessons by real teachers. Listening to lessons while in the car allows you to focus on the road as you listen and learn. In every one of our three to 15 minute lessons, our teachers teach you conversations, new phrases, and cultural points. Audio is the only learning medium that lets you learn and drive safely at the same time. So take advantage of all our audio lessons available. Second, you can set your lessons on autoplay and go hands-free. Our autoplay feature lets you keep your hands on the wheel without even reaching for your device. Just set your lessons to autoplay one by one with our Innovative Language 101 app and never have to interrupt your focus on driving to switch to a new lesson. Third, you can repeat out loud and speak from your very first lesson. You wanna speak a new language too, right? Well, you'll start learning conversations minutes into your lessons. All you have to do is listen and repeat out loud. Our teachers take you step-by-step step through all of the words, phrases, translations, and grammar points. You're even prompted to speak out loud and repeat. The result? 
you understand it all and can speak your new language. Turn your commute into language learning time and have fun at the same time. Learning doesn't have to be a big commitment, like signing up for a college class. It can be fun and easy. In fact, it's as easy as pressing play. Our language learning programs will do the work for you. And with the exposure you get while driving on your daily commute, you'll be speaking and understanding real life language quickly. The best part? You can finally learn without even changing your schedule. So if you're ready to finally learn a new language the fast, fun, and easy way, sign up for your free lifetime account by clicking on the link in the description. Signing up takes less than 30 seconds, and you'll start speaking from your very first lesson. If you enjoyed these tips, hit the like button, share the video with anyone who's trying to learn a new language, and subscribe to our channel. We release new videos every week. I'll see you next time. Bye! Today, traditional classrooms are no longer the only or even best place to learn a new language. More and more people are finding that they can easily learn a language just about anywhere they have a few minutes of spare time, including their daily commute to work. According to the U.S. Census Bureau, the average American spends over 50 minutes a day commuting to and from work, or over 300 hours a year. But rather than simply sitting in traffic and wasting the time, you can instead use your daily commute to literally learn a new language in just a few short months. Our language learning program has specialized learning tools that you can use on your commute to and from the office to master a language in your spare time. What are some reasons traditional classroom settings just aren't the best option for most people in today's fast-paced world? Difficulty getting to and from class. Learning on someone else's schedule. Very expensive and may cost thousands of dollars to complete. Can take years to finally complete classes and learn the language. The simple truth is the traditional classroom instruction is simply not a viable option for most people in today's very fast-paced, time-starved world. Now, let's examine how you can learn a language faster, more easily, and at far less expense than traditional classes, all during your commute to work and back home again. Three reasons your daily commute can help you master a language in the next year. On average, Americans spend more than 300 hours per year commuting. During the commute to and from work, over six hours a week is completely wasted. The time isn't used to help you reach any goals or objectives. But thanks to online language learning platforms with audiobooks and other resources that you can access during your commute, you can easily transform wasted time into progress toward learning a new language. With over 300 hours available annually, your daily commute could provide you with enough time to gain significant skills in a new language each and every year. Increase your earning potential while commuting to work. How would you like to transform all those spare commuting hours each week into more money for a new car, house, or even a dream vacation? According to research, someone making $30,000 per year can boost their annual income by $600 or more per year by learning a second language. Over the course of a lifetime, that's a significant amount. How? From work-at-home translation jobs to working overseas, there are many ways to leverage your second language into more money in your bank account. So instead of wasting your precious time, you can make your commute more productive and eventually profitable. The more languages you learn, the higher your income potential. Repetition is key to mastering a new language. Not sure if it's practical to learn another language while commuting to and from work each day? Well, not only is it possible, learning in your car on the way to and from work each day can actually help you learn and master any language quickly. The simple truth is that repetition is absolutely vital to truly internalizing and mastering any language. So, if you listen to audiobooks or even audio lessons on your commute to work and then repeat the same lesson on your commute home, the information is more likely to be locked in to your long-term memory. Our language learning program has been helping people learn and master language in the comfort of their home, during their daily commute, or any place they have a few spare minutes of time. Here are five features of our program that make it easy to learn a new language while commuting to and from work. First, the largest collection of audio lessons on the planet by native speaker instructors. Every single week, native speaker instructors create new audio lessons. All lessons are short, to the point, and guaranteed to improve your mastery of a language. Second, the word of the day. 
Simply exposing yourself to new information and vocabulary terms helps increase your fluency and mastery of your target language. So every single day, check out the word of the day and memorize it during your commute. It's a quick and easy way to boost your vocabulary every day. Third, daily dose mini lessons. Have a short commute to work but still want to make progress towards learning more than just vocabulary? Not a problem. Our daily dose mini lessons are one minute or less and are designed to improve your grammar, conversations, and pronunciation. Fourth, all content is available on a convenient mobile app. You don't need a PC or tablet to learn during your daily commute. Instead, all of our lessons, tools, and resources are available 24-7 via our mobile app. That means you can access all of our audio lessons and other tools during your commute to work or anytime you have a few spare minutes. Fifth, audiobooks and other supplemental resources. In addition to the world's largest online collection of HD audio lessons, our language learning program has audiobooks to enhance your understanding and make it more convenient than ever to learn a language during your commute. The average commute time of most Americans is over 300 hours each year, and it's the perfect opportunity to learn and master a new language. Use the dead time during your daily commute to learn a new language and potentially boost your lifetime earnings. Whatever your motivation, our language learning program has the tools and resources necessary to help you learn a new language each year during your commute to and from work. So, if you're ready to finally learn a new language the fast, fun, and easy way, sign up for your free lifetime account by clicking on the link in the description. Signing up takes less than 30 seconds and you'll start speaking from your very first lesson. If you enjoyed these tips, hit the like button, share the video with anyone who's trying to learn a new language, and subscribe to our channel. We release new videos every week. I'll see you next time. Bye. Welcome to checkclass101.com. Czech is up three minutes. The fastest, easiest, and most fun way to learn Czech. Ahoj, já jsem Veronika. Těší mě. Hi. I'm Veronika. Nice to meet you. In this series, you are going to learn basic Czech expressions. It's super easy and it only takes three minutes. In this lesson, you are going to learn how to introduce yourself in Czech. You'll start speaking right away. But first, it's important to clarify that in Czech, there is a difference between the formal and the informal language. Let's first see how Czech people introduce themselves in an informal situation. Ahoj, já jsem Veronika. Ráda tě poznávám. Hi, I'm Veronika. Nice to meet you. Ahoj, já jsem Veronika. Ráda tě poznávám. For males, the form of ráda changes to rád. Ahoj, já jsem Petr. Rád tě poznávám. Hi, I'm Petr. Nice to meet you. Ahoj, já jsem Petr. Rád tě poznávám. Start by saying Ahoj, já jsem. Then say your name. Ahoj, já jsem Veronika. Finally say Ráda tě poznávám. If you are a female or Rád tě poznávám. If you are a male. Ahoj, já jsem Veronika. Ráda tě poznávám. Ahoj, já jsem Petr. Rád tě poznávám. And now, let's see the same sentence in formal speech. Dobrý den, já jsem Veronika Nová. Ráda vás poznávám. Good day, I'm Veronika Nová. Nice to meet you. Dobrý den, já jsem Veronika Nová. Ráda vás poznávám. And again, the form of ráda changes to rád for males. Dobrý den. Já jsem Petr Nový. Rád vás poznávám. Hi, I'm Petr Nový. Nice to meet you. Dobrý den. Já jsem Petr Nový. Rád vás poznávám. So what has changed from the previous introduction? Let's take a close look at these expressions together. Ahoj has been substituted with the formal greeting Dobrý den. Check for good day. Já jsem Veronika has not been changed. Já jsem simply means I am. 
However, during a formal self-introduction, we also say our last name. So I said, Veronika Nova. Here you would say your full name. Finally, pay attention to the ending. We went from Tě poznávám to Vás poznávám. What changes is the Czech word for you in the accusative case. In a formal sentence, we use the more polite word Vás. One more time, the informal way to introduce yourself in Czech is Ahoj, já jsem Veronika. Ráda tě poznávám. For females. And Ahoj, já jsem Petr. Rád tě poznávám. For males. The formal way to introduce yourself is Dobrý den, já jsem Veronika Nová. Ráda vás poznávám. For females. And Dobrý den, já jsem Petr Nový. Rád vás poznávám. For males. Now it's time for Veronika's insights. When you introduce yourself, it's a good habit to shake hands. If you are not sure whether to use Ráda tě poznávám, Rád tě poznávám, Ráda vás poznávám, or Rád vás poznávám, just say simply Těší mě. As I said at the beginning of this lesson, Těší mě means I am pleased to meet you. If you use the correct sentence with Czech people, they're definitely going to be impressed. That's it for this lesson. Do you know how we say thank you in Czech? You will learn how to say this and many other words in the next lesson. Ahoj příště! See you then! Já jsem Tom. Já jsem Mary. Těší mě. Také mě těší. Ahoj, já jsem Veronika. Hi everybody, I am Veronika. Welcome to checkclass101.com Česky za tři minuty. The fastest, easiest and most fun way to learn Czech. In the last lesson we learned how to be grateful to people by saying děkuju. In this lesson you will learn some of the most common greetings used in the Czech Republic. Připraveni? Are you ready? Tak začneme. So let's start. The most common informal greeting is Ahoj. Ahoj. Ahoj means hi or hello. We should only use this greeting with friends or relatives. The most common formal greetings will change depending on the time of day. Let's start with Dobrý den. Dobrý den. Literally, Dobrý den means good day. As a rule of thumb, we can use Dobrý den only during the daytime, from late morning until early evening. In the morning, we say Dobré ráno, which means good morning. Dobré ráno. During the evening, we say Dobrý večer. Dobrý večer. Den, ráno and večer are check for day, morning and evening respectively. Easy, right? Dobrý is the form of the adjective used in combination with masculine nouns. And dobré is the form we use with neuter nouns. It means good. What should you say when you leave? Czech people usually say naschledanou when leaving in a formal situation. Naschledanou. Naschledanou means goodbye. If we say goodbye to friends or our relatives, we use the informal word ahoj. Ahoj. Maybe you have already noticed, but informal hello and goodbye are the same in Czech. In both situations, we simply say ahoj. Now you can greet people in many different ways in Czech. Let's review them all again. First, the greetings. Informally, we simply say ahoj. Formally, use Dobré ráno in the morning, Dobrý den in the afternoon, and Dobrý večer in the evening. When leaving in a formal situation, we say Naschledanou. And in an informal situation, it's Ahoj. It's easy, isn't it? Now it's time for Veronika's insights. You can also hear other greetings in the Czech Republic. For example, young people might use 
Nasdaq or hello when they meet each other. It is also very common to use the word ciao for both hello and goodbye in informal situations. But I'm sure you could guess what it means if you happen to hear it in the street. In the next lesson, you will learn the meaning of the phrase Luvite Anglitsky. Do you already know it? I will be waiting to talk about it with you in our next Check in 3 Minutes lesson. Ahoj! Au! Promiňte? Ano? Moje noha! Aha, omlouvám se. Ahoj, já jsem Veronika. Hi everybody, I am Veronika. Welcome to checkclass101.com Česky za 3 minuty. The fastest, easiest and most fun way to learn Czech. In the last lesson we learned the most common forms of greetings in Czech. Do you remember them? In this lesson you are going to learn a very useful phrase. Do you speak English? If you find yourself in a situation where you need assistance in English, this phrase can be a lifesaver. And because you're asking it in Czech, you can be sure that everyone will understand what you are saying, even if their answer is no. Here's the informal way to say it. Mluvíš anglicky? Mluvíš anglicky? In Czech, verbs change depending on the person that they refer to. The first word is the verb mluvíš, which means to speak. Because it is referring to the second person, you, it is conjugated to mluvíš. And you probably recognize anglicky to be English, though anglicky is not a noun but an adverb. Mluvíš anglicky? We are now going to make this sentence formal. The person which the verb refers to is going to change to the formal version of you. Because of this, the verb will be conjugated differently. It becomes mluvíte instead of mluvíš like in the informal version. Everything else stays the same. Mluvíte anglicky? Mluvíte anglicky? If you add promiňte, excuse me, the sentence becomes even more polite. Promiňte, mluvíte anglicky? Promiňte, mluvíte anglicky? The responses you will receive could be one of these three. Ano. Yes. Ano. Trochu. A little. Trochu. Ne, nemluvím anglicky. No, I don't speak English. Ne, nemluvím anglicky. Since this last one is a negative statement, we need to attach ne to the verb mluvit. Notice also that the form mluvím is slightly different than mluvit. Remember, the verb changes depending on the person it refers to. We are now talking about ourselves. Thus, I do not speak is nemluvím. Now it's time for Veronika's insights. For those of you who are not only English speakers, you can obviously use this question with any language you need. Czech people study other European languages at school, so maybe you will get lucky. Just substitute anglicky with Italsky for Italian, Ruski for Russian, Španielsky for Spanish, Francouzsky for French, and so on. In this lesson we mentioned the expression prominte. But did you know that this could also be used as an apology? In the next lesson we will learn this and other ways to apologize in Czech. It's never too late to show your good manners with Czech people. I will see you in our next Česky za tři minuty lesson. Ahoj! Ahoj, já jsem Veronika. Hi everybody, I'm Veronika. Welcome to checkclass101.com's Česky za tři minuty. The fastest, easiest and most fun way to learn Czech. In the last lesson, you learned some words to use when you are apologizing in Czech, including promiňte and omlouvám se. In this lesson, you will learn numbers in Czech. Yes, numbers, čísla, from 1 to 10. And you are going to learn them in only 3 minutes. Za 3 minuty. Are you ready? Let's start. Jedna. Jedna. Dva. 
dva, tři, tři, čtyři, čtyři, pět, pět, šest, šest, sedm, sedm, osm, osm, devět, devět, deset, deset. Okay, now repeat after me. I will say the numbers and give you time to repeat each one. Jedna. Dva. Tři. Čtyři. Pět. Šest. Sedm. Osm. Devět. Deset. Great job! Do you know what comes before jedna? It's right. It's nula. Nula. You don't have any more excuses. You can now give your friends your phone number in check. Let's try together. We will use the phrase moje telefonní číslo je, which means my number is moje Telefonní číslo je, moje telefonní číslo je dva osm jedna osm šest čtyři jedna šest osm. It's dva osm jedna osm šest čtyři jedna šest osm. Perfect. Now it's time for Veronica's insights. Jedna and dva can actually have three different forms. We use the forms jedna and dvě when counting feminine nouns. For example, jedna květina meaning one flower and dvě květiny meaning two flowers. Jeden and dva are used with masculine nouns. For example, jeden strom meaning one tree and dva stromy meaning two trees. Jedno and dvě are the forms for counting neuter nouns. For example, jedno dítě meaning one child. Dvě děti meaning two children. Notice that dvě is the form for feminine as well as neuter nouns. Other numbers starting from tři which means three do not change their forms depending on gender. Do you know the Czech word for 100? In the next lesson you will learn the numbers from 10 to 100 in Czech. Your task now is to practice the numbers we studied in this lesson, from 1 to 10. I will see you in the next Česky za 3 minuty lesson. Ahoj! 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 Jak se máš? Děkuju, dobře. Ahoj, já jsem Veronika. Hi everybody, I'm Veronika. Welcome to checkclass101.com Česky za tři minuty. The fastest, easiest and most fun way to learn Czech. In the last lesson you learned how to count in Czech. I hope you spend some time practicing the numbers because they will come in handy today. You are going to learn how to go shopping in the Czech Republic. Before you go, you need to know how to say how much is it. Kolik to stojí? Kolik to stojí? Are you ready to go shopping in the Czech Republic? Let's go! Let's say you see something you like and want to ask the shop clerk how much it costs. The first thing to say to a shop clerk is Promiňte. Do you remember what that means? It's Excuse me. Promiňte, kolik to stojí. Promiňte, kolik to stojí. If you want to be more specific when asking how much is this and prefer to a certain type of object, you first need to drop the word to. Next, you need to know if the object is a masculine, feminine or neuter object. If it is a masculine, add ten when referring to it or ta for a feminine object and to for a neuter one and then say the noun 
For example, hat is a masculine noun. Klobouk. So the sentence is Promiňte, kolik stojí ten klobouk? Excuse me, how much is this hat? Promiňte, kolik stojí ten klobouk? And skirt is a feminine noun. Sukně. Promiňte, kolik stojí ta sukně? Excuse me, how much is this skirt? Promiňte, kolik stojí ta sukně? Finally, car is a neuter noun. Auto. So you would say, promiňte, kolik stojí to auto? Excuse me, how much is this car? Promiňte, kolik stojí to auto? At this point, the shop clerk can answer by saying, stojí to. And then the price followed by crowns, korun. For example, stojí to 39 korun. Stojí to 39 korun. What number is 39? I'm not telling you. Okay, okay, it's 39. It costs 39 crowns. Now it's time for Veronica's insights. If you are buying a few things, and you want to know what the final price of everything together will be, you can ask, kolik to dělá dohromady? Or, how much will it cost together? Kolik to dělá dohromady? Dohromady means together. So now you can be sure you will not spend more than you have. At this point, can you count crowns in Czech? We are going to learn how to do that and much more in the next lesson. I'll be waiting for you in our next Česky za tři minuty lesson. Ahoj příště! Are you feeling confident as a beginner level language learner? Are you ready to move up to the intermediate level? Here are some tips to help you make that leap and advance your language learning progress. Tip number one, determine your skill level. It's important to look across your skills in the major language competencies, listening, speaking, writing, and reading. By taking our level assessment test, you can review your skills in each competency and see your strengths and weaknesses. Keep in mind it's normal to be better in some skills than others. Premium Plus users can take our level assessment test and get personalized recommendations and learning pathways based on your results. Once you've figured out which skills need work, it's time to take action. No matter which of your language skills need to be improved, Make sure you choose a method that's both effective and fun to help maintain your regular learning routine. Tip number two, listening. The most effective way to build your listening comprehension is by building a strong vocabulary. The more vocab you master, the easier it will be to understand the context and details of the conversation. Songs in the target language are a key listening tool that will teach you common, everyday vocabulary. By learning and memorizing the lyrics, you're building up your vocabulary. If you really want your listening skills to take off, listen to our podcasts. We have hundreds of hours of audio lessons for you to listen to. Before you know it, you'll be able to understand shows and movies. Tip number three, speaking. Add speaking elements to your language routine. Try shadowing podcasts, repeating along while you listen. Match the native speaker's pronunciation and intonation. This is a fantastic way to improve your fluency and accuracy. You can also find a partner for conversation exchange. A partner can help correct your mistakes and teach you more natural ways to phrase your ideas. Tip number four, writing. An easy way to start writing more often is by keeping a one sentence journal. Write one sentence in a journal every day. It doesn't take a lot of time and is a great habit for beginners to build a routine. You have to be consistent to make improvements. Ask native speakers to correct your writing to improve even faster. You can submit sentences and phrases to your teacher using Premium Plus. Tip number five, reading. Reading is a skill you can improve by yourself. There's no need to rush. It doesn't matter if you read one or 100 pages at a time. What matters is that you understand what you read. Write down new words as you read them to practice later. If there's an audio version, read along with the narrator. It'll help you read at a slightly faster speed than normal. You can use the audio that comes with each of our lessons. Bonus tip, never give up. Where do your language skills currently stand? Where do you want them to be? How do you get there? 
Whatever your goal is, make it clear and part of your life. You'll reach it if you stay focused and positive. And if you really want your skills to take off, make use of our tools and resources. They're designed to help you get to the next level in the fastest, easiest, and most fun way. Just click the link in the description to sign up for a free lifetime account. Sign up takes less than 30 seconds. Click the link in the description and start learning right away. I'll see you there. Bye. You are at a train station where you're attempting to buy an express ticket from a ticket machine. Which option should you choose to buy an express ticket? Which option should you choose to buy an express ticket? The option on the bottom left is for an express ticket. Rychlíková jízdenka. You are at a train station where you've just bought an express ticket. Which train car row and seat number are you in? Which train car row and seat number are you in? The ticket says that you're in train car number one in the eighth row in seat C. První vagón, osmá řada, sedadlo C. You are at a train station where you're reading the train schedule for an express ticket that you've just bought. On which days are there no express trains running? On which days are there no express trains running? There are no express trains running on public holidays and the third Sunday of every month. Dny pracovního klidu, třetí neděle v měsíci. You are on a platform at a train station where you're waiting for your train. Suddenly, a message appears on the display. What does the message on the display mean? What does the message on the display mean? The display reads, the next train will not stop. Vlak nezastavuje. You are at a train station where you're looking for the best exit to catch a taxi. Which exit should you take to get to the taxi rank?
Which exit should you take to get to the taxi rank? You should take the east exit in order to get to the taxi rank. Východní východ. You just got a text message from your hotel's pickup service. What does the first number refer to? What does the first number refer to? The number in the text message refers to the customer code. Zákaznický kód. You are checking out the hotel's facilities when you see a notice on a door. What does the notice mean? What does the notice mean? The notice reads, Do not enter. Nevstupujte. You search online for the nearest bus service. What bus service does the page show? What bus service does the page show? The web page shows a free bus service. Bezplatná autobusová doprava. You're about to enter a small shop but there's a handwritten note on the door. What does the message on the note mean? What does the message on the note mean? The note reads, I'll be right back. Budu hned zpátky. There's a national holiday coming up, and you notice that shops have special notices about having different opening hours. From when will the opening hours return to normal?
From when will the opening hours return to normal? The notice says that the opening hours will be back to normal on January 7th. 7. Ledna. Do you want to crush your language learning goals and overcome setbacks on the road to mastering a new language? In this video, you'll discover why learning goals are so vital to learning a new language and overcoming the inevitable setbacks you'll encounter on your way to mastering the language. Here are some useful strategies you can use to crush your goals. First, switch to strategic goals rather than general internal motivation. People are motivated to learn a second language for any number of reasons, including personal enrichment, better career opportunities, or even meeting new people. However, unlike simpler goals, which may only take a week or two to complete, learning a new language takes time and there will be occasional setbacks and failures. So to reach your overall objective of mastering a new language, you need to learn how to motivate yourself and stay focused on the bigger picture. To do so, it is vital to set specific strategic goals with an action plan. Second, reasons learning goals are vital to success. Learning an entire language well enough to carry on full conversations with native speakers is certainly a goal. But with this as your primary objective, there's a long period of time between the time the goal is set and when it can be realistically attained. The problem is that a failure to achieve an objective creates stress that can build until you either reach the learning goal or quit. The solution is to set more realistic strategic learning objectives that are easier to attain but still keep you on track to learning. Here are some examples of strategic learning objectives that you might set on your way to mastering a new language. Study for 10 minutes every day. Complete one lesson or chapter each week. Learn 20 new words each week. Or even learn one new word each day. The key here is that your learning goals and objectives need to be very concise, attainable, and relevant to your overall objective. As long as you can see progress towards your learning goal, your stress levels will be lower and you're far more likely to succeed. Next, to learn a new language or virtually any new skill, you'll need to make adjustments to your routine. Simply telling yourself that you want to be able to speak fluently probably won't force you to alter your daily or weekly routines. But when your strategic goals include learning a new word each day or a lesson every week, you're forced to alter your schedule to reach the goal or risk certain failure. Although altering your schedule may cause some minor degree of stress at first, the added motivation you get from achieving goals quickly eliminates any initial discomfort. And the more strategic goals you complete each day or week, the faster you can achieve your larger goal of mastering the language. The key to achieving goals includes learning how to deal with the inevitable setbacks and failures. The great part about setting smaller, attainable, strategic learning goals is that you can occasionally miss your objective, but quickly make up for it. So if you can't finish a lesson one week, it's entirely possible to either learn the lesson the following week or even do two lessons to make up for the initial failure. The point is that failing to achieve smaller strategic learning goals won't kill your motivation or derail your overall objectives. There are many ways to crush your language learning goals using our program. First, check out our custom learning paths, which are based on your specific goals. Learning paths are designed to help you reach your specific learning objectives by providing you with step-by-step -step strategic goals. So imagine you're about to travel and just wanted to learn enough essential language to navigate any potential emergency situations you might encounter. Our language learning program has created a custom learning path for your goal that includes just 10 lessons or strategic learning objectives. Once you complete the 10 lessons, your larger overall learning goal is complete. Learning paths are one of the most powerful features at our website and help you quickly and efficiently achieve larger learning goals and objectives. For Premium and Premium Plus members, our website offers more than 20 advanced learning tools to make it easier than ever to reach and achieve your goals. These include teacher feedback and comments for every lesson, full lesson transcripts and review tracks, voice recording tools to perfect your pronunciation, lesson review quizzes, and much more. Our language learning program makes it easier and more convenient to achieve your smaller strategic goals so you can quickly reach your larger overall objectives in less time and with less stress. 
Without setting realistic and attainable learning objectives and goals, your larger dream of mastering a new language might never be realized. Specifically, strategic objectives help to reduce stress, adjust your daily routine, and make it far easier to deal with the inevitable setbacks on your way to mastering a language. We've made it simple and easy for you to set and attain your strategic goals so you can successfully reach the larger goal of mastering your target language. So, if you're ready to finally learn a new language the fast, fun, and easy way, sign up for your free lifetime account by clicking on the link in the description. Signing up takes less than 30 seconds, and you'll start speaking from your very first lesson. If you enjoyed these tips, hit the like button, share the video with anyone who's trying to learn a new language, and subscribe to our channel. We release new videos every week. I'll see you next time. Bye! Want to speed up your language learning? Take your very first lesson with us. You'll start speaking in minutes and master real conversations. Sign up for your free lifetime account. Just click the link in the description.